Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated. At our school, we are building the body of Christ one student at a time. Please join me in reciting our mission statement. The mission of Corpus Christi Catholic School is to nurture every child by providing opportunities to grow in faith, achieve academic success, and serve others as disciples of Jesus. And now, live from Studio One in the Arts and Science Wing, the award-winning Corpus Christi News Program. Good morning, Corpus Christi. I'm Marshall. And I'm Luke. Welcome, Welcome to the award-winning Corpus Christi News Program. Today is Friday, January 11th, 2019. Hey, Luke, did you finish it? Finish what, Marshall? Did I finish my homework? Did I finish the book I was reading? Did I finish eating breakfast? I have no, no clue what on earth you are talking about. I was checking to see if you finished the Mathathon booklet that helps raise money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital and improves our math skills at the same time. Today was the deadline. As a matter of fact, I did finish it, Marshall. Do you know that the families of the children admitted to St. Jude's with cancer never received bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food because they believe that all the family should worry about is helping their child live? And thanks to generous donors who make contributions and groups like us doing the Mapathon help raise money for St. Jude's to make all this happen. That's amazing. That is amazing. I hope many of our students participated and raised a lot of money to donate to St. Jude's. And now it's time to head over to Garrett at the CCN Weather Center and see if he has an amazing forecast for us this weekend. Garrett? Thanks, Marshall. The expression, more of the same, definitely applies to our weekend forecast. Let's take a closer look at our current local conditions and then talk about the pretty decent weekend ahead. The low temperature last night in Mobile was a chilly 36 degrees, but today's high will reach up into the 50s. Currently, our local te our temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Viewing our Doppler radar, clouds from the north and west are heading our way, bringing warmer temperatures and higher chances of rain for the weekend. In capital cities around our nation, Augusta, Maine, we'll get up to around 12 degrees and the temperatures tonight will be in, a, in the single digits or below. In Boston, Massachusetts, we'll be, the high will be 25 degrees and the low tonight will be 15 degrees. Today in Indianapolis, Maryland, we'll be around 38 degrees and a low tonight of 30. Next up, we head over to Natalie, who's over at the CCN Sports Sports desk. She's going to update us on everything sports. Good morning, Covers Christy. I'm Natalie, reporting to you from the CCN Sports Desk. Over the weekend, we had four NFL wild card playoff games. In the first game on Saturday, the Indianapolis Colts manhandled the Houston Texans with a final score of 21 to 7. Next weekend, the Colts now have a play day in Kansas City with the Chiefs. In Saturday's late game, the Seattle Seahawks traveled to Dallas to face the Cowboys. In a real nail-biter, nail the Cowboys squeaked out a 24-22 victory. With their win, the Cowboys now traveled to face the Los Angeles Rams on, Saturday, on Sunday 
The underdogs, Los Angeles Chargers, defeated the Ravens at home in Baltimore 23-17. The upset-minded Chargers now play the Patriots in Foxborough next Sunday. The final game on Sunday night pitted the reigning world champions, the, fin the, Phil the Philadelphia Eagles, against the Chicago Bears. The Bears lost 16-15 on a missed loss last second field goal in which Auburn's Cody Parkey double jointed the field goal attempt off two parts of the field goal. The victorious Eagles now travel to New Orleans where they will surely be defeated by the Saints. So that's it for me. Now it's time to join Marshall back at the anchor desk with announcements and any urgent breaking news. Looking ahead, the NED show will be returning for grades K through five on Monday at 1.30. Our second quarter awards mass will be on Tuesday. Next next Friday at 2.15 is the annual March for Life. In-house registration for school next year will be taking place all next week and ends on the 18th. And now I have another tech tip for you. You ever have a problem with your TV just turning off or freezing? Here's a solution. Now, this is a more advanced tip. And if you aren't sure of yourself, do not try this at home. You have to reach behind the device, unplug, and wait for roughly 10 seconds and plug back in, and it should be working. And if this continues, you might want to get it checked. Now we go to Luke for some astounding moments in history. Today in history, on this day, in 1813, the first pineapples were planted in Hawaii. In 1861, Alabama was the fourth state to secede from the Union. Insulin was first used to treat patients with diabetes in 1922. And on this day, in 1935, Amelia Earhart flew nonstop from Honolulu, Hawaii, to Oakland, California. Next up, we join Heather and Melissa with our prayerful words of daily devotion. something everyone wants to have, but a quick look around the world will show you that, that very few people actually have it. Countries are at war, gangs bad on cities, and families just fight with one another. People are just downright mean to others. What does it take to have personal peace that will flow out to those around you? Simple answer. Faith in God. Ground faith in God. That means that you, will, that you trust Him with everything in your life. You know he will take care of you. He will guide you. He will protect you from people who want to hurt you. The Bible verse for for January is taken from Philippians chapter four, verse thirteen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now let's return to Marshall and Luke at the anchor desk. Well, that's all the news we have for today. I'm Marshall. I'm Melissa. I'm, I'm in. in. I'm Garrett. I'm Hayden. I'm Natalie. I'm Kay. I'm Jack. I'm James. And I'm Luke. I'd like to leave you with this question. Did you know that grapes and trade tomatoes explode when you put them in the microwave? Have a fantabulous Friday. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. Bye. 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 Bye.